So in this problem, I'm going to use a little bit of technology to solve it. So let's just read through the problem first. A rectangular enclosure is made from 24 meters of fencing on three sides, with the fourth side being a wall. Find the maximum area that can be enclosed and the dimensions of the enclosure. It's quite a uh, famous problem, it's used quite often, and we will perhaps come across it again in when we do calculus. Now, so in, like all things in problem solving, the first thing you really should do is try to draw a diagram of the situation. So here's my diagram. So this is my wall. This is my fencing. Okay, it's only on three sides. I don't need the fencing on the side because the wall acts as the fence. But I do know that this length here plus this length here plus this length here must be equal to 24 meters. And the problem is to find what will be the maximum area I can enclose with 24 meters on three sides. So what you need to do is to introduce some variable or a variable. Now I'm going to go to a GeoGebra applet and the GeoGebra applet I will put in the notes of the video so you can refer to it yourself. So if here is the uh, GeoGebra applet, so here's my wall and here is my fencing. Okay, if I, it says here, if I right click on here, now if you're doing it on the internet version, you have to select the object and um, select a world. Now, before I do that, you can see here, if I change it, I can get different widths here for my field. Okay, so let's just put it back to what it was, it was in three to begin with. Okay, so if I uh, right click here, now in the internet version you have to select the wheel to right click okay so if I call that whip here X then also this one is also going to be X now the question is what is this length going to be here well if I know that all this adds up to 24 then this length here must be 24 minus two lots of x okay let's just try that again there you go 24 minus 2x okay so if i move that i'm going to get different values so what is going to be the area of this rectangle well, the area of this rectangle is going to become x times 24 minus 2x which if i expand the brackets that becomes 24x minus 2x squared okay and then what i need to do is to find the particular value of x where this area here the green bit here the green shaded bit becomes a maximum now you see on the right hand side is that actually I get a graph of the area against the value of x. And you might recognize this type of graph as a quadratic. Okay, and then I can use the graph to find the maximum value. So the, the, the area at the moment is 5 and 70, but here at this particular point where x is 6, I can find that the area is 72 meters squared. So let's just move along a little bit. So I'm annotating my diagram X, and this will also be X, it's the same length. And we just said this has to be 24 minus 2X because the perimeter of the fence is 24. And then form an expression in X for the area enclosed. We're going to have the A of X is going to be X times 24 minus 2X. We can expand that, X, 24 times X gives you 24X minus 2x squared and then let's just go over here okay now in order to find this we're going to use some technology to find the actual maximum area so we're going to use the technology you can use there's plenty of graphing softwares around the main one i use is geogebra but there's autograph you can also use the graphing function on your calculator so let's just go back to this here so looking at the graph here i've just shown you it traces out what's known as a quadratic it, the quadratic goes this way because it's minus 2x squared and if I click this here I will actually get the function if I move that slightly that will get rid of all the dots and at this particular point here I get a maximum point and I should show clearly on my graph how I get the maximum point so reading up here 
reading across, I get 72. Make sure you read the scale properly on, on your axis. Don't forget this is a graph of x, the length, the width against the area A of x. Okay, so try to understand the graph. So that gives me the maximum area enclosed is 72 meters squared. So going back to this. Okay, here's my graph. I should annotate my graph, having drawn the graph. Um, you probably would have to pop some points and join them up. Okay, so reading it up and reading across, I'm going to get uh, 72 as the maximum area. So the maximum area is 72 meters squared. In order to find the dimensions that this happens at, then when x is 6 meters, then 24 minus 2x, because I need to find this one here, is going to be 24 minus 2 times 6, which is 24 minus 12, which is 12 meters. So the dimensions of the maximum area are going to be 6 meters by 12 meters. I'm going back to the GeoGebra applet. Let's just, there we go, we can see it's actually set at that. So this is going to be 6, and this is going to be 12, and it gives a maximum area of 72 meters squared. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use technology in problem solving. I'm not saying you do this bit in technology, but you could definitely draw the use of uh, graphing software to get a, a graph very quickly. Okay, I hope you've understood, and I'll remind you again, the link to the GeoGebra will be found in the notes of the video. Thank you very much for watching.